up fellow collectors and welcome to Long's Toys. Today we are taking a look at the Complete Selection Modification Lockseed Gaim Set from Kamen Rider Gaim. This of course was a premium Bandai item. I just got mine in from Toku Collectibles. Uh, packaging very very nice. You have a nice close-up of Pine Arms and Ichigo Arms here on the front. And then if we spin around to the back we have Fresh Orange and uh, Proto Gaim. So very very cool. Uh, up here just have the Gaim logos. And then you have, you can see I got the USA release because it has the Bluefin sticker there on the bottom. Uh, all the batteries are included, which of course is always appreciated. And then just kind of says complete selection modification on that side. And then you have some warnings and whatnot over here. So really sharp looking packaging. I'm very excited for this set. So without further ado, let's get the lock seeds out of there and we'll take a closer look. So we have six lock seeds in this new set, as well as one new faceplate. And this is the faceplate for Proto Gaim. Not really much going on here, but this one is included. So of course we'll take a look at that a little bit later on, but let's go ahead and jump into our lock seeds here. So first up we have the pine lock seed. Really nice metallic paint here on the front. It has the standard like five versions if we cycle through this. Uh, if we just hit the button first. He says henshin two different ways. So now we're in the Helheim mode. You have the two different mix modes. And then we have the uh, Invis battle. Oh, sweet, we won one. Wow, that worked out perfectly. So it is just random, you either win or lose. Got to hear one of each there. And if we hit the button again, we go around back to the normal mode. So in the normal mode, you'll hear the zipper because obviously it's coming from Helheim. In the Helheim mode, you just kind of hear it materialize. You won't hear the zipper sound, so that's the main difference there. Uh, next up, we have the Ichigo, or Strawberry Lock Seed. This has the same modes. So you're in the Helheim mode, and I'll show you what I mean with the difference. So it just kind of materializes, you don't hear the zipper sound. And then you're back around. So that has the same five moods as Pine. Now we have Suica or Watermelon. So you hear the zipper there in the regular mode. This one actually has a special mode, so first it goes to Helheim. So this is a special mode where it mimics the first transformation with the Suica Lock Seed. So we'll check that out in the uh, Sengoku Driver in a little bit. And then we're back around to the front. Next up we have the Fresh Orange Lock Seed. You can see the really nice orange metallic paint and then you have kind of a more translucent orange here on the front. So it says fresh orange. So same five modes as all the rest. Next up we have the black orange lock seed, which is used by Proto Gaim. Still just says orange, doesn't say black orange or anything like that. But we have kind of an evil version of Henshin. So same five modes as everybody else. But really nice. I really like the like silver metallic paint on the front and the kind of black finish to everything. I don't know, it just really looks sharp, especially with the silver. 
I just think that's really cool. And then we have our first uh, energy lock seed, uh, in, or I should say the first lemon energy lock seed. We've had energy lock seeds before. But uh, yeah, we have not had lemon yet. So the first one we're getting is the black lemon energy lock seed. And uh, it's interesting. <laughs> <laughs> I'm still waiting to make Jimba Lemon. I'm assuming they're eventually going to do like a CSM Sonic Arrow and include it with that. That's how the original was released. I don't know that, but they still haven't done it. The only other thing is maybe they're saving it uh, for the Genesis driver because I'm sure that'll probably come with at least Melon. Maybe it'll also just get Lemon as well. We'll have to wait and see. But there you go. So you have Lemon Energy. And again, it's done in black and silver, which I think looks really sharp. Uh, coming around to the back, this one has one less mode. So it goes back around. So this one does not have the Invis Battle sound, which I think makes sense because they weren't really doing the Invis Battle by the time they got to Energy Lock Seeds. So that is not included in this one. But yeah, really sharp and happy just to get a uh, Lemon Energy Lock Seed. Even if it's not the real Lemon Energy Lock Seed, at least we have this one we can play with in the meantime. So those are the six Lock Seeds that we get in this set. So let's go ahead and bring in the Sengoku Driver. So first up, I'm going to run through the transformations with the Gaim uh, faceplate. Then we'll switch to Proto Gaim and go through them again. Next up, Ichigo. And then we have Suika. First we'll do the regular transformation and then we'll do the special first appearance transformation. Oh, <laughs> 
All right, and now we'll switch to the next one. So you can hear that there's definitely a delay there, I guess, for the first transformation. It was probably powering up or something like that. The other thing you can do uh, for certain faceplates, because not all of them use Suica arms throughout the show, but Gaim definitely did, you can hold this down. Suica. And now you're kind of in the Suica arms mode. So you can switch between the three different modes. Up next, we have Fresh Orange. I don't think the black orange was ever used with the Gaim faceplate, but why not? All right, so now we're going to switch to the Proto Gaim faceplate. Now, normally when you have a new faceplate, you can hit this top button to get some sounds out of the Sengoku driver that are specific to the faceplate, but he doesn't have any. So, bit of a bummer. But we do get some uh, different transformation uh, sounds when we use these with this faceplate.
So I think that the attack sounds are the same, but we'll go through them anyway. And also after transformation, uh, you can hit this button underneath here to get a sound. Ichigo. Up next, Suika. Fresh orange. Last but certainly not least, black orange.
But wait, we're not done yet. We can go ahead and remove the proto faceplate face plate and bring in our Genesis core. I love the evil little ha ha laugh at the end. That's pretty fantastic. Now you may be wondering if you can use this with the normal orange lock seed because we don't have the regular uh, lemon energy lock seed yet. So let's go ahead and give it a try. So it kind of works, you still kind of get the evil ha-ha at the end. I think this is another really fantastic set. I've been wanting Pine, Ichigo, and Suika for some time as they were pretty widely used on the show. The other three in the set are a little bit more obscure, but definitely really cool additions to the collection. And though we don't have the actual Lemon Energy Lock Seed set, we do have the black version to kind of tide us over, and it does kind of work for Jimba Lemon, obviously with the black uh, orange lock seed, but it does kind of work with the regular orange lock seed as well. Not 100%, but something to tide you over until the actual lemon energy lock seed comes out. Uh, the Proto Gaim face plate is pretty cool. Doesn't do a ton. Uh, doesn't really have any extra phrases from the Sugoku driver or anything like that, but he gets some uh, unique transformation jingles with these couple extra words or phrases, so that's kind of cool. Uh, but in the long run, I think it's a nice set. Definitely cool to add some more of these lock seeds to the collection. I've been having a blast collecting the CSM versions. Very, very happy to have these, and I really just can't wait for the next set. I'm really hoping we get some more energy lock seeds soon. Because, like I said, I do really want the regular energy, uh, lemon energy lock seed. And I'd love to get a Genesis driver at some point as well, which I'm assuming is probably coming. Maybe they wait till the actual uh, 10th anniversary year for that to happen, but only time will tell. So let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Please like, share, and subscribe. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. And as always, thanks so much for watching.